and uh, here at the ID TechX show. Uh, this is a revolutionary sensor right here, right? So hi, so who are you? Hi, I'm Shun Kuroki, the CEO of a company called Aromabit. And what is this? This is our compact smell sensor module. So um, what are we looking at here? It looks like there's uh, five things. Yes, so it, the five things is uh, each of them is a sensor substrate, which is called the QCM, or stands for quartz crystal microbalance. So it's basically a very high precision, sensitive uh, sensor element that can detect the mass of the molecules. And on top of it is our uh, membrane that functions as a receptor of your nose. And in this case, there are five of the material, five different materials, where each of them have different chemical affinity or basically a stickiness on a chemical sense. So uh, it says SDK 1Q. Are uh, you selling a development kit right now? Yes. Uh, it looks like with this, it looks similar to this? We actually give only this red part. Only the only, red part? Yes. Right. And what do you connect to what? You can connect to any uh, um, PCB? uh, PCBs, right. What's a connector? System. A connector is uh, a SPI standard, which you can usually, is a very standard uh, that you can use for to connect to a system like uh, Raspberry Pi. So let's put, like. let's put it back right here. Okay. <clears throat> so uh, here I see something that's called Aroma Coder 35Q uh, model series. Uh, what is it? Um, Aroma Coder? Okay. Is it desktop? Yes. So Aroma Coder is a desktop type uh, high resolution, odor, high re odor resolution instruments where you can, under one scan, take uh, 35 different data set from the uh, in the heart, a data set. So this is a place you put something inside or what? Yes. Where, where is it put? This is where you input. You open it, you oh, put open in? open it and you put the sample in, you close it, and then you open, switch on. Switch and on? And then you get the 35 different sensor output data. So this one has five, and this one has 35? Yes. So it's more uh, resolution? Higher res order resolution. But five, you can do a lot with five? Already, yes, with five. For instance, you can uh, monitor spoilage of food. That's amazing. That's a I big market, so. right? I think so. And also, so you can go around in the, in the supermarket and say, I want this banana, not this banana. For instance, yes. Maybe, Maybe if yes. you have your own. Yes. Can you put this in the phone? Uh, yes, eventually, as you can see, it's pretty small compared to uh, my finger. And uh, we think we can much make it much smaller in the uh, near future. Where are you based? Well, we're based in Tokyo, Japan. And uh, what are we seeing here? Is it connected now? Uh, yes. So what, what, we, what can we see? So this uh, actual sensor uh, output expressed as in the change in frequency of the five elements you saw. And when you breathe on it, you blow on it, you get to see the response. Okay? Can I do that? So that was you? Ah, uh, yes, actually. So I can blow, I breathe on it. Yeah, go ahead. That's what you want to take. Okay, so so that's, uh, that means I have to brush my teeth, or what does it mean? So that... <laughs> In theory, it could. In theory, yes. That's actually looking at the pattern of your breath, basically. And this is, um, this is really providing a reading of smell. This is the yes. science of smell. Yes. And it's scientifically proven this is how smell works? Um, well, mechanically, yes, in theory, because uh, our sensors actually check monitoring is a very high precision mass detector. So when a molecule hits the surface of the sensor, it changes the frequency based on the mass change. So does that mean what we have in the nose is just a sensor of a frequency of something? Ah, okay, so your nose have different mechanism, but our sensor mimics exactly what the, your nose is doing. So the nose has um, 35 different sensors or something like yeah. that? Actually, in case of human, 
they believe to be 400 different receptors. Some studies say more than 1,000. Well, but that's relative to our currently available 35 sensors. So these receptors are physically inside the nose somewhere, somehow, yes. and they are tuned, they are uh, optimized, or they are, uh, what's it called, they have learned something in our past that make I, us recognize the smell? Actually, um, you, you actually learn as you grow up and input smell, uh, just like building a database. Along with the other sensory system, uh, input output from the other sensory systems such as your eyes, you know, uh, and your brain. <laughs> and we calibrate that sense, right, in our nose or something like that? Yes. And you do something similar? In our cases, we can do that through by using, uh, utilizing, you know, available technology such as uh, AI and the machine learning to make it more advanced and smarter. So uh, there's five different colors, blue, green, yellow, uh, orange, and pink. Yes. And what are they? Are they like the five you think are the most important five, or? Ah. Uh, no, this five is actually randomly chosen. Five different films, where each of the film have different chemical affinity or stickiness. So in this case, we did choose, cho uh, choose uh, five, probably more or more common. Um, you know, reaction to expect it for various applications. So are you a very famous company or new company or? Well, we've been founded in 2014, so it's year five for us. So we're a startup, but uh, very recently we've been founded from a, a large corporate company such as Sony. And uh, for every time we come, you know, to this kind of uh, you know, startup events, uh, we get a lot of awards, so we're getting there, I think. Uh, 2014, now it's 2019, so five years, is it shipping? Or yes. is it still development kit so no, far? So, so this is actually ready, uh, this SDK, uh, the sensor module that you, uh, we, you can actually, we, ex we can, uh, it's on the mass production, ready. And uh, um, how do I, if I want to make a phone, because every phone is the same in the market, and uh, everybody's doing the same. Yes. And they, now they have notch and they have, I don't know. But uh, what if somebody wants to make a phone with this? How long time it takes before they can ship? That's a harder question because you know, uh, the price point is very low, expected to be low. And uh, spec expected on this uh, you know, phone, maybe uh, embedding phone, uh, components on the phone, maybe uh, pretty hard. However, if it's an accessory on the phone, it's maybe much closer, like a year or two away, depending on the product concept. Because accessory will be how much? $99, $199? Yeah, maybe some there, maybe a few hundred dollar range. Are you saying that maybe it's too expensive to put inside the phone? Yes, and That's the spec is usually high, expected. As you know, any component company will tell you that uh, you know, having components in a smartphone is very, very challenging from cost but perspective. some of these companies make millions of phones, so if they decide to do it... Then they will come, yes. Then they can do it. Exactly. Because so, you know, they will make five target. million phones. Correct. It's enough quantity Correct. for you, right? Correct. So, I just need one smartphone company to say, we do this. Yes. And if you can help me do that, that would be wonderful. They're watching yes. the video, I think. Yes. So, uh, and it doesn't matter... It doesn't have to be a Japanese smartphone company. You work with everybody, right? Of course not, yes. Yeah. We're a very open global company. And are you the only ones who do smell sensing technology like this? Uh, no, but there are expected to be few or to several companies trying to do the same. But uh, our customers are telling us that we are the, one of the few that can actually deliver the product. And we are two to three years ahead in terms of technology. Is what. Do you have your phone? Yes. Um, uh, just uh, where do you put it? Where would you put this? On this corner? Probably here. So it could be like on the bottom corner Yeah, maybe? for instance. And I think it will make sense to have uh, somewhere close to the... Here because you breathe on it. So for instance. <laughs> then it could give you an alarm? Or, yes. It could say, you now it's time to brush your teeth. Right. Because people don't brush their teeth enough. Right, right. or, yeah, whether your breath is bad or 
you may be need to uh, take a have some tic tac disease yeah or recommend a tic tac <laughs> and, uh, <laughs> and in theory you could uh, uh, point the phone different parts of your body right Correct. and it this is. and this just uh, one second is. is enough or how you have few, to keep probably it probably maybe a few seconds few seconds yes when uh, the technology is mature enough and it, the sensor has to be the sensor is very sensitive part right it yes. has to be on the edge and it will inside, not be right. inside behind the grill right but it cannot be waterproof correct so waterproof can be done it can yes um, uh, using a uh, you know technology that's available i would like nano coating what's called a coating like gore even gore tex type of you know uh, so that's not an issue yes what is well, a, it could be an issue we don't know it could know. be an issue yes because it because might it needs to be an opening when you go oh, swimming, it's difficult to smell, right? Maybe exactly. it blocks the nose. Yes, same, so, same thing. And if you if you go out of the swimming pool, maybe it takes 10 minutes before you can start smelling normally again, right? Right. But the smartphone is smart enough to know which environment or mm. ambient it's in. So when it's available for smelling, then it, uh, maybe the shutter mechanism could just open. Right? Nice. And how far away does it sense? Ah, that needs to be... the. M sample needs to reach the sensor physically so it needs to be pretty close and you need to breathe in that direction correct and that means you have to touch if you want to uh, test under your arms for example you have to touch it no you don't have to touch but you just need to have Come it close. close enough maybe a few centimeters all right um i mean it is it's very exciting potential right i hope so and how many different so. ideas people have with this? How many different ideas you have? Like in applications. Yeah. Mm, we are thinking order of a few tens. Tens of different, different applications. Apps. What do you mean? Well, applications, yeah? Applications, yes. And Use cases. You have some ideas, right? You have some... Uh, potential. Potential yes. ideas for what it could be done. Yes. So you go to the supermarket or you check your food in the fridge. You can have a sensor like this inside the fridge. But then you have to put every ingredient next to it, or can it smell the whole fridge? It will smell the whole fridge in that such case. Because it's a closed environment? Yes. And then some AI, something can know One. what is what? AI It can or know how many bananas is in the fridge, and then which one is bad? <laughs> oh, it's too much. Well, it may be in the future, when if you have enough data, uh, visual data, along with the smell profile, Right, and having maybe multiple sensors inside there, you will give the direction, for instance, intelligence as well, potentially. Is it possible that this can also uh, di give diagnosis, diagnostics for health? Yes, healthcare. Because smell is a way to know if somebody's sick? Yes. Is it? Yes. So you just breathe on it and it's going to tell you Correct. you need right. you need to rest yes. or something? Yes. Or and you're too stressed? Rest. And it is even better if you have a very close and a log your breath every uh, yes. as often as possible to extract the new intelligence on your health based on the smell pattern of your breath. Nice. Um, so, is there another some way to have it close to here? Uh, you know, sometimes people have a, a Bluetooth headsets. Yeah, probably similar. You can but have it all the time there. Was that too if much? If it's very needed, yes. Very needed. It's a question of the user yeah. interface, I would believe. All right, cool. All right, thanks a lot.